This video is based on a new meta heuristic optimization algorithm named as Draft Mongoose Optimization. We can use this algorithm to solve different optimization problems as when this algorithm is tested on different continuous discrete optimization problems, it provides efficient results. So we can use this algorithm to solve complex optimization problems. This algorithm is basically inspired by the forcing behavior of mongoose in the real life. In this video, we will try to understand how this algorithm is breaking mongoose behavior, their lifestyle, forging strategies, and we will try to understand how this algorithm is breaking step by step using algorithm flowchart. First of all, as you can see here, Draft Mongoose Optimizer is introduced in 2022 by Jeffrey and all. It is a swarm intelligence based optimization algorithm that we can use to solve complex optimization problems. This algorithm provides efficient results in comparison with seven different algorithms as you can see here Particle Swarm Optimizer, Grey Wolf Optimizer and Colony Optimization and other. This algorithm is also applied to solve 12 different engineering design problems and it provides excellent results. Algorithm inspiration as you can see here this algorithm is basically inspired by the draft mongoose behavior in real life. This algorithm mimics mongoose behavior, their lifestyle, forging strategies, and other. So as this algorithm is inspired by the draft mongoose behavior, lifestyle, forging strategies, and other. So first we will try to understand about mongoose, their behavior, lifestyle, so that we can easily understand how this algorithm is working. First, we will try to understand about mongoose. There are more than 30 species of mongoose worldwide. Most species of mongoose found in Africa. Common draft mongoose are smallest African carnivores. They have large pointed head, small ears, long tail, soft fur, and long claws. They live in family groups and forge as a unit. Mongoose forge, fight and travel together as a team and they stay in one area for one week. Mongoose group size is up to 10 to 30 members and the group leader is Alpha, oldest dominant pair. They live in burrows and their predators, you can see here, their enemies. Eagle, large snakes, large mongoose species, and they also use termite mounds for shelter and refuge from enemies. Mongoose diet includes small animals like frogs, birds, beetles, fish, snake, crabs, spider, grasshopper, larva, and other. Mongoose length is about 18 to 47 centimeters, weight 300 to 400 grams. Length and weight depends on species. Mongoose lifespan is 8 year to 18 years and in captivity it is recorded 20 years. Mongoose can walk, run and climb. They also have loud voice and communicate with each other continuously using variety of tweeters and whistles. In mongoose group vocal communication is very important to coordinate group members during forging or when they are moving from one sleeping mound to another. In mongoose communication here we have two sounds panic sound and excitement sound. Panic sound indicates any danger round excitement call when new food source is discovered. So that's how they communicate continuously with each other using different whistles and twitter. Mongoose are territorial mammals. They use secret scents for marking their territories. They use territory marking for group members so they can identify one another. Suppose this is the mark. 
So as we discussed, they are highly social species, live in groups and group size is up to 3 to 30 members and group is led by oldest alpha pair, one female and one male mongo and they also define their territories. They use secret scents to mark their territories. In the mongoose group, we have further subgroups, scouts, babysitters, alpha mongoose. Forging is done by alpha group. Scouts search for the new sleeping mounds and babysitters take care of young mongoose when other group members are searching for food and new sleeping mounds. Babysitters are mixed both male and female and after a certain interval Babysitters are exchanged with the alpha group for forging. So as we discussed, we have mongoose group and in the mongoose group, we have further subgroups, alpha group for forging, scouts, they are searching for the new sleeping mounds, babysitters who remain with the young mongoose when the other members are forging and searching for the new sleeping mounds. Now suppose this is the search space and in this search space we are searching for the optimal solution and suppose we have one agent this one and you can see the position for this agent here this one as we discussed mongoose perform different activities as they are searching for the new sleeping mounds they move from one sleeping mound to another and they do not return to the previously visited site so suppose this is the agent as agent is moving in the search space he will move continuously to the different places as they do not return to the previously visited sites from algorithm point of view as they do not return to the previously visited sites so mongo will explore the entire search space and this also prevent over exploitation of particular area. Now step by step we will try to understand how this algorithm is working. First we will initialize the algorithm parameters. Algorithm parameters like population size that is total number of search agents, mongoose, number of babysitters as in the mongoose group we have alpha group, babysitters, scout, so we will calculate the number of babysitters who will remain with the young one when the other members are searching for the food and new shelter. Next, maximum number of iteration that is how many times the loop will repeat and after that it will display the best solution. Total number of design variables or this is the problem dimension lower bound upper bound that is search space boundary and we need the optimal solution within this boundary next we have the babysitter exchange rate after a certain time interval we will exchange the babysitters with the alpha group for forcing and then we have the one tuning parameter that is peep sound that is used by alpha female to keep the members on the path. So next we initialize the position for the N search agents randomly. So here we will initialize the position for N mongoose randomly. Suppose we have 10 mongoose and using this equation we will initialize the position in the search space. Rand is here any random value that is normally distributed within 0 and 1. N that is population size suppose it is 10 so we have 10 mongoose and we will calculate and we will initialize the position and we will initialize the position for each one in the search space d that is the problem dimension or you can say the total number of design variables upper bound lower bound that is the search space boundary we need all the solutions inside the search space so using this equation we can initialize the position for the search agents so next we will select the total number of babysitters who will remain with the young one when the other members are searching for food and shelter 
new shelter. So suppose we have three babysitters, as now we have three babysitters, total population size we have 10. So we have total seven members in the alpha group. Next, we will set the babysitter exchange parameter as after certain time interval, we will exchange babysitter with the alpha group for forging. So here we will set this parameter. So we can calculate the value for exchange parameter using this. Suppose we have four design variables and three babysitters put the value and we got the value for L that is seven. Next, we will calculate the fitness value for each agent in the population. So first we initialize the position. Now we will evaluate their performance. It means we will calculate the fitness value for each agent using objective function. Next, we will check this condition. Suppose we have total 500 iterations. So we will repeat the loop 500 time and after that we will display the batch solution if the stopping condition is not met they will go to next step else we will display the batch solution next step that is select alpha algorithm optimization process start with alpha group as alpha group members will search food and new shelter and babysitters and babysitters and young mongoose will remain in the old sleeping mound. Now the optimization process started here. Now we will select alpha female. Alpha female play important role in the group. They decide forging path, distance covered and sleeping mounds. They also use different vocal sounds to keep group members within path. So we will select alpha female using this equation. Next, we will evaluate the performance for alpha female using objective function. Next, we will calculate the new position or we can say we will calculate candidate food position. So using this equation, we can calculate candidate food position that is Mongoose older position plus phi that is considered initial sleeping mount. And after every iteration, the new value for the sleeping mount is calculated. Initially, it is considered phi. Peep that is the vocal sound used by alpha female to keep all members within path. So we can calculate new position using this equation. So is the older position we have 0.6365 and phi that is the initial sleeping mound and peep that is the vocal sound used by alpha female to keep all members within pack suppose this is two next we will evaluate the new performance so as we calculated the new position now using objective function we evaluate the performance again we will calculate the new fitness values next we will calculate the value for the sleeping mounds next we will discover sleeping mounds so we can calculate sleeping mounds using this equation and new mount is assumed to change during iterative process of optimization so we can calculate the new sleeping mounds using this equation this is the previous sleeping mount and here we have the new sleeping mount as they do not return to the previously visited sites so here we need new sleeping mounds so that we can calculate using this equation next we will calculate the average value of the sleeping mount that we will use in the babysitter exchange phase so we can calculate the average value for sleeping mount using this equation now increment the counter c that is c equal to c plus one now we will exchange the babysitters when mongoose are moving from one sleeping mount to another or from one foraging site to another, the distance covered by group depends on the group size, young mongoose, predators and intruders in the path. Babysitter. Now here we will exchange the babysitters. We will check the 
counter with the babysitter exchange rate L that we calculated before that is 7 so here we'll check the value initialize the position evaluate the performance babysitter exchange set out new exploration phase that is followed that is followed by exploitation until evening when the group returned to new sleeping mound so again initialize the position now we will check the average sleeping mound value now we'll compare the new average sleeping mound value with the older one here we'll calculate the scout mongoose position scout mongoose will discover new sleeping mounds here we'll perform either exploration or exploitation we will check the average value we will check whether the new sleeping mount average value is greater than older sleeping mount average value or not if this condition is true perform exploration phase else exploitation phase after that again evaluate the performance here using objective function we calculate the fitness value for the new position that we calculated here increment the counter and check the condition when the stopping condition is met stop and display the best solution else we will repeat this loop so first we'll initialize the algorithm parameters then position for the agents evaluate their performance and according to mongoose gender is they perform different duties in the group like babysitter scout guard attacking predator intruder so we will select here alpha group babysitters scouts and calculate new position then we will discover new sleeping mounts virtually then we will calculate the values for the new sleeping mounts using this equation then we will check the babysitter exchange rate next we will calculate the position for the scouts evaluate the performance and increment the counter repeat the loop so that's all about this video if you have any questions you can comment below and thanks for watching this video